I'm gonna if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy, or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life, regardless of the negative around my name, regardless of of the bad things people say to me. I don't... Jase Onfroy, also known as XX Extentacion, or as I like to call him X is one of the most influential and popular rap artists of the new generation. He achieved this status in a very short amount of time. And whether you celebrate him or not, it's simply a fact that his music is a refuge for many people on this planet. Sadly, X was killed at the age of 20. In this video, I will explain how the perpetrators proceeded, what their motive was, and how they were ultimately caught. But before we start, I'd like to draw your attention to the YouTube channel of the podcast I do with Hip Hop Genius. Check out this channel if you're interested in my opinion, as there's almost daily content here. Subscribe to the channel, leave some love as this would be a great support for me and my bro genius. Let's get started with the video. It's June 18th, 2018. X started his day normally by playing a round of League of Legends at 6.05 a.m. This round lasted until 6.27 a.m. As I mentioned, it was a day like any other for him because around 8 a.m. he worked on his music as usual. More specifically, on the beat for the song Chase, Glass Shards, which eventually appeared on the album Bad Vibes Forever. This was the last song X actively worked on. Around 1 p.m., he called his producer and told him he wanted to bring back his old style in his songs. At the same time, he had a tattoo retouched by his girlfriend, Genesis, who became ill shortly afterward, so he only went with his uncle to buy a new motorcycle. His mother wanted to accompany him, but they had a FaceTime call at 3.11 p.m., in which X asked his mother to go to the doctor with his girlfriend Genesis, which is why she did not come to the motorcycle store with him. Less than 10 minutes after this call, X entered a Bank of America branch on the way to the motorcycle store. His uncle waited outside the branch. X himself wanted to withdraw $250,000 in this branch. However, since the bank did not have enough cash, it was only possible to withdraw $50,000. He ordered the remaining $200,000, after that, he stowed the $50,000 in his Louis Vuitton bag. When he came out, his uncle pointed out that the bag was open, so he closed it and then thanked his uncle. Afterward, X got into his black BMW i8 with his uncle and headed to the motorcycle store. At the same time, Dedrick Williams, Trayvon Newsom, Robert Allen, and Michael Boatwright were driving around the area in a rented black Dodger journey. That day, they specifically aimed to rob someone and what do you need to pull off such a job? Right, black masks. For this, the four headed to Riva Motorsports, the same store X was driving to, intending to buy his motorcycle. Therefore, the four perpetrators saw X entering the store with his uncle around 3.30 p.m. Robert Allen and Dedrick Williams then also went into the store to buy masks. They wanted to make sure it was indeed X they had seen. Dedrick and Robert bought masks in the store and left before X. Back in the car, Dedrick showed the others a picture of X's car on X's Instagram page. And that's where the discussion about whether or not to carry out the robbery started. Because Robert Allen made it quite clear that committing the crime would be far too risky. Especially since he and Dedrick were filmed by the store surveillance cameras. That's why the others hesitated. Everyone except Dedrick. He asked his accomplices if they were scared, and so the crime was ultimately committed. When X left the store around 4 p.m. and wanted to drive away, Dedrick, as the SUV's driver, blocked the exit from the parking lot. Newsom and Boatwright then left the SUV masked and armed to rob X. Next to X was his uncle, who, out of fear of being shot, simply fled. Michael Boatwright then tried to grab the bag or chain from X. It's unclear what he was reaching for. X resisted, which can be seen in the camera footage. Michael Boatwright responded to this resistance with gunfire. Yes, with gunfire. He shot four times at X, hitting him in the neck. Meanwhile, Newsom ran to the passenger side and grabbed X's Louis Vuitton bag. The perpetrators then fled and left X lying there. Emergency services were able to resuscitate him temporarily but he was still in critical condition and later died in the hospital. In the car, Newsom then asked Boatwright why he had shot at X, and he replied that X had reached for his gun. 
Only during the drive did the perpetrators realize that there was $50,000 in cash in the Louis Vuitton bag. These $50,000 were then divided among the four perpetrators, each receiving $15,000, except for one, Robert Allen. He received only $5,000. The mastermind of the whole operation, Dedrick Williams, even suggested that Robert Allen should not get a penny because he did nothing. Robert Allen later testified, by the way. After the crime, the four were still on the move with this car, as proven by video footage from surveillance cameras. They were even so foolish as to have an accident with the car after they had washed it. And what did they do afterward? Yes, they all fled and left the car with all the evidence behind. How stupid can you be? In the hours and days that followed, they simply recorded videos in which they flaunted the money from X. These videos were later found by investigators on the perpetrator's phones. Wow guys, I don't understand how you can be so stupid. Moreover, Daedric did extreme self-snitching, because when he was recorded by the surveillance cameras in the store, he wore orange sandals, and these orange sandals are quite conspicuous. And a while before the crime, he posted a picture on Instagram, in which he wore these conspicuous sandals. So he made it really easy for the investigators. Patrick was later arrested during a traffic stop, and guess what this guy was wearing at the stop? Right. Those orange sandals. Moreover, the phone data of all perpetrators were evaluated, and they could prove that they were near the shooting scene at the time of the crime, making all statements from the perpetrators that they were sleeping at that time completely contradictory. DNA traces from Diedrich and Michael Boatwright were also found on the masks used in the crime. Moreover, it could be read from Boatwright's phone data that he had read a news report about X's death shortly after the crime and had taken a screenshot of it. Do you know what's also really crazy? The investigators even evaluated the Bluetooth data from the phones, meaning they could see when the phones were connected to the SUV's Bluetooth and when not. And exactly this matched perfectly with the time of the crime. All were arrested within a few weeks to two months after the crime, so it all went very quickly. As mentioned earlier, Robert Allen has since confessed and testified extensively against the other three in court. The trial is currently underway. And in my research, I noticed that Dedrick Williams was actually a popular tattoo artist and even inked Kodak Black. But after Williams was arrested, rumors quickly emerged that Kodak's guys tried to mess with him. And that wouldn't surprise me at all, because X and Kodak come from the same area and the two got along really well. And since X was also a very popular artist, it wouldn't surprise me at all if some people wanted to do something to Dedrick and the other accomplices. Until I could research this, however, this story is just a rumor. Whether it's true or not, I can't tell you 100%. This crime was so incredibly unnecessary, the perpetrators were complete amateurs who just randomly chose X. And there's the rumor that Drake had something to do with the crime, but guys, honestly, as if Drake would hire such amateurs. Man, these are just some randoms from Florida. They are no good and not professionals. And Drake would have hired professionals in such a case, I'm 100% sure. I explained all this in detail in the video on Ben's channel. Check out the video if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment and a rating. See you next time. Bye.